everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. I'm so glad you found me. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Now this week when I went into my Dollar Tree, I just kind of stuck local and went to my two uh, stores that were here in town. I was surprised. I still found a few new Halloween items. They did some restocking in the Crafter Square, so I have a couple new items uh, for Crafter Square and then a couple items throughout the store. But I'll start up front with the Halloween items. Now I have to say probably my favorite find for this week are these. And I picked up two that say Beware. They look like bones. They're plastic. But um, they feel like they're made really well. They're not cheapy. They don't, you know, bend real easy. So I was really <laughs> excited when I saw this. So I did pick up two of this one that says Beware. And then I also found this one that says creepy. And I really like these. I think these are a good size. You could um, just stand them up and put them on, you know, a counter or a side table, your mantle. You could also put them on a wreath. So that's why I picked up two of each. Now I could only find creepy and beware. If you find any, any other sayings or words that are done this way in your store, please let me know in the comments below. So I can keep my eyes peeled because I really like these. I think they are perfect for Halloween. They have that perfect creep factor. Okay, uh, I also grabbed a bag of this. It's just decorative shred in orange. I have a craft project in mind to use this. So I grabbed a bag. And then I saw this and I've already picked up a big black spider, but I saw this one. It's even bigger and even darker black, so I picked it up. It is really large. I love it. I have a specific project, a Halloween wreath for him, so I'm excited about that. And then I found these. Uh, they are little cellophane treat bags, and you get 20 per package, and they come with little ties. The first one I picked up is this one. I just love the candy corn print at Halloween. I don't know why. I'm not a huge fan of candy corn. I will eat it on occasion, but I just love the little decorations when they're done candy corn. I just love them. Then I also found this one. It has the little pumpkins on it. I had a craft idea. I don't know if it's going to work out or not with those, but I'm going to give it the good old college try and see how it works. And this one I think is, I don't know, it's a toss-up. I really like this one too. It's a scary boo. It has black cats and a haunted house. Really, really love the patterns on these. And they all come with little twisty ties in the back to secure your little treat set. Now, I also picked up uh, some more rolls of the deco mesh. Now, this is still their old deco mesh, but I picked up like four more rolls in black and I picked up four more rolls in their orange. Uh, I have several Halloween wreaths that I want to get to this year. Um, I've started and done a couple, but uh, I have two specifically that I want to make sure I get to this year, and I need black and orange mesh for both of them. So I want to make sure I have enough. And then, uh, this is kind of strange. They put it over up in the front with the Halloween stuff. It wasn't over where the nail stuff was. I grabbed this, which is just a black polish. Now they had a huge display of LA Colors polishes and then a huge display of artificial nails. So if you are someone who wears the artificial nails, the LA Colors are pretty good. They had three different shapes to choose from. You had your stiletto, you had a coffin, and then short and square. I prefer the shorter and square. Um, I don't like them too long, though occasionally I do go for it. But uh, I do like the LA color nails. Uh, they're much better than the sassy and chic. So if you wear them, keep your eye open for that. And then I found these, and I thought they were really cool. You know, I wish I had stuff like this when I was little. I don't remember ever seeing anything like this. Spooky sticker face. 
Now it comes with stickers, and this one is kind of gender neutral. So you get all these cute little stickers, eyes, nose, mouth, and then you get these blank faces. So your kids can go through and put whatever face they want on these pages. Now I found three different ones. There's this one that is kind of gender neutral. And then this one is, uh, again, spooky faces and the stickers are included. This is more boy monster. And then they also have this one, uh, which is kind of like princess or women. But you know, I kind of had an idea uh, of a project to use these with. So again, I don't know if it'll come out or not, but I'm gonna give it the college try. <laughs> and if it comes out, you know, you'll see it. So I thought those were really fun. If you have little ones in the family that you need something to keep them busy, that would keep them busy. I used to uh, love playing with stickers and things like that when I was little. Now I also found some new box signs this year and you know I love it when they come out with these and these are nice if they're small enough they would work perfectly on a small wreath. This first one says spider Ven venom highly toxic. I really like the detail. It kind of has that good creep factor for Halloween. You know that's good uh, like I said you can put it on a wreath. Uh, to stand it up on your mantle or a side table. You know, I just like putting little things like that kind of throughout the house. And then this one, it says a spooky witch and her boo haunt here. <laughs> I thought that was really cute. And then the last one that I picked up was this one. It says have a spectacular Halloween. And I really like this is the design on this one as well. And they had one more that I did not pick up. Um, it didn't have any graphics on it. It just had saying, and I don't remember what it said. So that was all of the uh, Halloween items that I found that were new to my stores. Now, um, <clears throat> I was really surprised when I first walked into my little tiny store, they had put a display up on the end cap of new uh, Crafter Square vinyl. And I was so excited to see this. I'm sure a lot of you, if you haven't heard already, you're going to very soon, like now, check it out. Black and white Buffalo check vinyl. So I did go ahead and I picked up two packages of the black and white. And then they also had this super pretty red and white. And the red is almost shiny, perfect for Christmas. So I did grab two packages of that one as well. And then this one is new. I don't remember seeing it. And it's kind of a leopard print. So I did just grab one of the leopard print. Now, I don't have a Cricut or a Silhouette machine. I don't have a cutting machine as of yet. Uh, but I was thinking, you know, I do have a small die cut machine. And I have some die cuts that I'm sure that would probably work. So I'm going to give that a try. And also, of course, you can always cut out whatever shape you want on your own, <laughs> as long as it's not too detailed. But I thought, you know, I might try to play with those and do some things without having a machine. I was also really happy this is the first time I found these tools. The only tools I've been able to find were the little spatulas. So this time I did find the craft scraper. And they had two to choose from. They had a solid white one, and they had this one that was trimmed in pink. So I grabbed one of each of those, and then they have this craft picker tool. So this one has kind of a little peach tip there. Has a little hook at the end. And then this one is just solid white. So I grabbed one of each of those. Um, I am at some point, I do want to get a Cricut or a Silhouette or a, some form of cutting machine. So that's why I'm kind of stocking up. Uh, I buy the new stuff that I see, and now I have all the tools. So, you know, why pay more if I don't have to? And if I'm going to learn and play, I might as well learn and play on a dollar vinyl instead of a $10 vinyl. <laughs> so I'm really happy I was able to find those. Now, I was really surprised when I went into the Crafter Square section. I have been looking for the wood pieces for a long time. I still have yet to find the wood planks, but I did find some wood pieces. So I did pick up 
two of these. Now, I noticed when I was looking at these, because I was trying to find two that were the same size, a lot of them are not the same size. So if you want something that is the same size, you need to pick them out at the same time and measure them. So I was able to find these two that are the same length. And those are probably about a half inch thick. And then I found these two. Now this one's much longer, but it's also much thinner. So I grabbed this one that was longer and then this one that was shorter because I wasn't sure which one I would need of the thinner two. So those were nice to find. I have, of course, a project in mind for those. And then the only fall item that I picked up was I did pick up some more napkins. And so I grabbed a package of this. Now this is their smaller, more cocktail napkins. And then they didn't have these at all. Uh, the last couple times I've been in the store, they just restocked. And these are the long dinner napkins. Now I really like these, especially using them for dinner. So I did grab two packages of those. But that was pretty much the only fall item that I picked up on this trip. Now I did pick up one new decor item. Um, I'm going to be redoing it but uh, it was exactly kind of the shape I was looking for. And they say, it says dream without fear, and it's this little triangle. And they're, I'd say probably about an inch thick, plain on the back. They're meant to just sit on your shelf. So I did go ahead and grab three of these. And like I said, I have a project in mind for those. So those will be fun to do. Now, this next object that I found, I was so excited when I found it, and uh, they have not been easy to find. I found uh, the two larger ones in one store and then the two smaller ones in another store, and they were um, like stuck in an odd place in the store, like they didn't have room where they normally keep them, and they are these large canisters. This is the large one. They have a really nice top on them and they seal very well. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there's a plastic ring in there to help get that nicely sealed. Uh, a lot of these that I get from the Dollar Tree, I use more for crafts, um, but sometimes, you know, I want to put food in it, you know, maybe put candy or coffee pods or something along those lines in it. And I want it to seal better. These actually seal better. So I did find two in this large size, and then I found two in the smaller size. So that is the size difference. But how nice uh, to get a couple of these if you don't have a canister set to put your flour and your sugar and your coffee and your tea and all that good stuff. These would be really nice. Um, you could always decorate them because they're glass. You can use any of the rub-ons or anything like that to decorate them. But I thought these were such a nice find. So I got two of each size. I needed to pick up a few uh, essentials. So I needed some more masks. I really do like these. Uh, I know Dollar Tree has several different ones to carry. It's a two-pack facial mask, and it is blue. I think this is the blue one on both sides. But I like these. They have the little nose guard, so when you put it on, you can pinch it and it stays conformed to your nose so it doesn't slide up and down as much. So I did go ahead and grab several packages of those. I was running out. I only had one package left. And then I needed another package of the plastic spoons. I have a coffee station up here in the laundry room uh, because I usually get up much earlier than my dad does. So this way I can get my coffee and do that without making too much noise downstairs. And uh, I use disposable spoons when I make my coffee. And then I went ahead and I picked up two more of the decorative cake trays. I like these. They do have an extra little scalloped ridge right here around the edge. So it makes the plate lifted. And uh, I had a project in mind, and the first time I, uh, I picked them up, I only picked up two, and I thought, you know, maybe I need three. And then I had another project in mind where I needed one. So I grabbed two more of these. Hopefully I will get to those projects. And it won't sit in my stash for a year. <laughs> and then uh, over in the books and magazines and things like that, I found this. Now, uh, both myself and my father do like to do word searches, and I thought this was perfect. It is the big print. 
search a word book. So I grabbed one for us. Um, we take turns playing with it, but it's nice. The letters are nice and big, so it's easy to do the word search. Sometimes they're so small and so compact that um, it's just too straining on the eyes to do. And the final item that I picked up uh, this week is these guys. I found some more of the coveted Farm Fresh 2022 calendars. Now these are really nice. They have really beautiful prints. And again, I found them in the same store that I found the first two in. They had just put out another box and they didn't put it again with the other calendars that was over in the stationery section. But for my people who stay all the way to the end, for my viewers who are there for me, tried and true, I am giving these two calendars away. And this is a hidden giveaway. So only the people who stay to the end know that I'm giving them away. So to enter, all I need you to do is in the comments below, tell me what your pet's name is. Just put my pet's name is and then the name. If you don't have a pet, just still put my pet's name is and some name. That will enter you into the contest. I will wait until next week after I'm done doing next week's Dollar Tree haul and then I will pull the winner. Now I will randomly pull the winner and how I'll let you know that you're the one that won is I will answer your comment that you left on that video. And then you will have uh, like 48 hours to get back to me. If you don't get back to me within 48 hours, I will choose someone else, okay? Thank you so much for stopping by. You know it's always a pleasure to see you. I hope you enjoyed today's Dollar Tree haul. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and show me some love in the comments. This really does help support my channel. It lets YouTube know that I have content that's worth watching, and then they show it to more people and I grow. Thanks again. You have a great day, and I'll see you next time.